With each model year, we're witnessing cars getting more and more technologically advanced and efficient. For most new cars on the market, it seems like engine troubles are a thing of the past. However, don't make the mistake of thinking that the new generation of engines is indestructible because it's certainly not. Even though modern engines are full of electronic sensors that monitor various engine conditions, you can still damage your engine with some common mistakes. In this video, let's take a look at 10 things that can destroy the lifespan of your car engine and how to avoid them. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Now let's get straight to it. 1. Drive during flood conditions The pistons in combustion engines are designed to compress a mixture of fuel and air in the cylinder. Air is easy to compress, which is why the system works so well. Water, on the other hand, is incredibly difficult to compress. If too much water gets into the cylinders, the piston or related components like the piston rod will very likely break as it tries to compress it, especially at high RPMs. One of the quickest ways to hydrolock your engine is to drive during flood conditions. Even if the water isn't quite high enough to reach the air intake, the water in a wake caused by another car could do the trick. Number 2. Low Engine Oil Levels The oil in your engine plays a vital role. It lubricates the moving parts of the engine so they don't become damaged and overheat due to friction. If your engine doesn't have enough oil, the engine will eventually become damaged. To avoid getting into a situation where you don't have enough oil in the engine, be sure to check your oil on a regular basis. In addition, if the oil pressure warning light comes on in your instrument cluster, don't ignore it. In fact, you should shut the engine off as soon as it's safe to do so when the oil pressure warning light comes on. This can make the difference between an engine that can be fixed and one that's damaged beyond repair. Number 3. Drive on an empty tank while it's understandable that rising fuel costs might tempt you to stretch every drop, consistently driving on an empty tank is not a good idea. Doing so can damage your fuel pump, which can be an expensive part to replace. The fuel pump requires a certain amount of fuel to operate efficiently. Running it low can lead to its malfunction or overheating, potentially causing your engine to stall. Number 4. Failing to check the coolant temperature All current vehicles have some kind of engine temperature gauge on the dashboard. Despite what you may think, this is a very important instrument and you should check it every time you drive your car. An extremely high temperature of the engine is a sure sign that something is wrong and you should stop driving immediately. Even if the car stays cold for a long period of time, it's a signal that temperature sensors are not working correctly, so you should always pay attention to it. Number 5. Driving Short Distances One of the most common mistakes is to drive short distances often. Short trips will not allow the engine to warm up properly and will put unnecessary wear on the engine and all the car's components. To be perfectly honest, 10 short trips that last a mile or so will damage your engine more than one 1,000 mile non-stop drive will. Just to be clear, we're not suggesting you walk to the shop, but that you just plan your commute ahead with this tidbit in mind. Before we move on to the next, if you're learning something from this video so far, please take a moment to hit the like button on this video. 6. Hard Accelerations or Aggressive Driving Yes, we know that this is kind of hard to ask for, as hitting the throttle is among every car enthusiast's favorite moments. But you should consider avoiding it. Hard acceleration is putting stress on the engine and other components, and if you're not racing, there really isn't any need to do so. Not to mention, there's also the imprudent use of fuel and the risk of getting a ticket for all sorts of reasons. On the other hand, accelerating in low gears will put a strain on the engine and always keep the engine in its optimum rev range. This will not just reward you with ideal performance, but also with fuel economy and will keep the engine in top condition. Number 7. Shutting down the turbocharged engine before cooling down Many of today's vehicles, like those with Ford's EcoBoost, come with turbocharged engines. It's crucial to be aware of a cooling concern with these motors. Since the turbocharger boosts the engine's power, it tends to heat up, especially after intensive driving. A common error is turning off the engine right after driving, which can lead to the turbine's oil boiling and internal damage to the turbo compressor. To avoid this, get into the habit of letting the engine idle for a minute or so before switching it off. This ensures the components cool down evenly and minimizes potential harm. Number 8. Broken Timing Belt Many modern engines are interference engines. 
This means that the pistons and the valves occupy some of the same space within the cylinders, though not at the same time. If the timing belt in your vehicle breaks, the pistons may strike the valves when they're open, destroying them. This is a fast way to suffer massive engine damage. If your car has a timing belt rather than a timing chain, the best way to avoid this problem is to make sure that you have it replaced when the owner's manual tells you to. Number 9. Revving your engine before it reaches the working temperature This is a common mistake of inexperienced drivers and a bad habit that will seriously shorten the life of your motor. When the engine is cold, just after you start it, high revs will damage the piston rings and valve train since they are not properly lubricated. If you do this often, it will cause loss of compression and ultimately an engine failure. This is especially important if you own a diesel car or a truck. Always wait until the engine and the oil reach the working temperature before revving it or driving fast. Number 10. Excessive Ethanol in Gasoline Using gasoline with a high ethanol content can be harmful, particularly if your vehicle was made before 2001. In the US, gasoline might contain between 10% and 15% ethanol. The issue with ethanol is twofold. It attracts water and breaks down polymers. When not stored appropriately, ethanol binds with water, leading to corrosion of various engine components like fuel lines, injection systems, and even the crankcase. Simultaneously, ethanol reacts negatively with rubber and plastic components in the fuel system, causing them to degrade. The bottom line is to check your manual to see what type of fuel the manufacturer recommends. One tank of 15% ethanol isn't going to kill your car, but it will affect it over time. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.